The smell of rubbish mixes with sewage. It's a powerful cocktail that residents have gotten used to living with. This is a familiar sight across South Africa's township areas where many black citizens live. President Sir Ramaphosa visited this area to campaign for votes. We joined him as he interacted with residents, listening to their concerns. This lifetime ANC supporter was happy to see Ramaphosa, so he could tell him exactly how bad it is here. There's feces running through the streets. Sewage water is flowing freely here. We often don't have any electricity here. It goes off for long periods, even for a month sometimes. Those are the things that cause us frustration. Also causing frustration is the country's high unemployment rate. 40% of people old enough to work are without jobs. South Africans are also experiencing a crippling electricity crisis. At its worst, some areas went without power for over eight hours a day. Imagine paying five times the market price for a roll of toilet paper. That's what public power utility ESCOM was shelling out. It's been revealed that it was regularly overpaying for basic supplies. It's the kind of maladministration that has left South Africans furious. Tenders have been used by business people with cozy relationships to the ANC to enrich themselves, leaving a litany of corruption scandals. For reasons like these, the ANC is in big trouble. Pre-election polls suggest support for the party could even drop below 50 percent. Those are predictions. Mm. Those are polls. We know what's going to happen. And the people in this hall and the people of South Africa know in their own hearts of hearts what they are going to do in terms of giving the ANC an overwhelming majority. But the majority of voters in this election are young South Africans who grew up under the ANC administration. Although housing, the water supply and sanitation may have improved during their lifetimes, they're unhappy about their poor economic prospects. Young people won't vote for the ANC because we're unemployed. It will be painful for them because new parties are going to come and take votes from them. The new parties are responding to our needs as young people, but the ANC seems to be stuck in the past. They're not looking after our needs. That unhappiness is expected to cost the ANC dearly at the polls. The ANC leadership says the party has turned over a new leaf and should not be judged on past governance failures. On the 29th of May, South Africans will give their assessment of whether they think the ANC can truly turn things around. Good girl, good girl. <laughs>